Hello, everybody. How are you all doing here today? I am Nomnexus, coach for the Pit Break Peaches, and this week we're going to be fighting the Tucson. <clears throat> Hold up, I got to do the Nappy intro. The Nappy intro. <clears throat> the Tucson Drakion. Back again. What's we'll Back again. <laughs> Uh, if you guys can give the video a thumbs up though, leave your feedback down below. This is a team building video. Um, yeah. I built all my by myself since I know a lot of people actually do have help usually when they build their teams. I kind of, and they kind of point out in the beginning, so I guess I probably should point out in the beginning that I kind of built a team by myself. Um, going through Nappy's team, nothing really scared me too much outside of his Crocodile. Uh, so I made it possible to where it can't pop potentially too bad. This is why I desperately need a fighting type. Had ah, a fighting type, that crooked die would have been mince meat. But um, we can't underestimate people. I know a lot of people are like, oh, Nexus is gonna blow back Nappy. Oh, Nexus is gonna destroy Nappy. You know, what? I'm not underestimating Nappy because for starters, Nappy knows what he's doing. Okay, for starters as well, Nappy's undefeated. All right, and for anyone that's saying that it's so like, like Nappy's a bad battler, the boy's undefeated, man. Like, we can't, we can't fuck around. So I'm trying to break that win streak, and I know that we can break this win streak. For starters, I've done simulations to where I've beaten this team. Like, popped it, bro. So, I'm not too worried. We got this Scarfed X, which pretty much, hold up. Everything is named Dave but the Entei, because it's shitty-ass event Entei, but, like, pretty much... Everything is named David because David is the cutest nigga alive. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, we got a Scarf Exodrill here. It pops the... Levitate Gengar and it does pop the Gardevoir as well. I'd also it's a good check to Gardevoir, even though it's focus blast. I can take one because not stab and I'll blow him away with this uh extra draw. I know it didn't work on Ju, but hey, it'll work on it'll work on Nappy. So I got this thing, it pops his Levitate, and I feel like Nappy will be the guy to stay in. Levitate Gengar on a mold breaker. Excadrill, and I will pop it. Maybe he'll forget that it's mold breaker. That's my plan, but for now, catch on the switch, pop something. Um Actually, I have, a, I have a team right here. Actually, I don't know what he's going to bring, so I'm going to write down what I think he's going to bring. Gengar, Gardevoir Mega, Crocodile, Rotom Heat, Gastro, Dunn, and... I actually don't even know the last one of what he's really going to bring. I actually have the slightest clue. I don't know. So it's whatever. That's what I'm going to think. All I know is that Gastro and Rotom Heat and Crocodile are like guaranteed. That's what's Gengar. So we're gonna see. And I say Gengar because or not Gengar, I say Gardevoir because blow back my team. LOL LOL. <laughs> so that's why I got this guy. I got the CB Ente. Pops holes, tears holes, or anything, because I feel like Nappy may bring everything that is bulky. So uh plan is here that I'm just gonna pop everything. You know, I'm just gonna pop everything with this thing. Uh, not even chance he will come in safely on this. If he's got a defensive crocodile with intimidate, I still blow that thing away. Um, he's got the gastrodon, but I'm choice banded. I still blow that thing away. Like a lot of people sleep on this monster. He's actually a monster. Like I was contemplating taking out uh, extreme speed just for HP. Is it HP grass or grass now? One of the two. I don't know if you can learn it. I don't know. So I was actually gonna do Power Herb Solar Beam. Crazy shit, right? Uh, but no need. So, and I was gonna bring maybe um, some type of like Life Orb Lefty set with Willow just to catch the Crocodile on the Switch. Like, I want you to know I'm scared of that Crocodile because if that thing gets a Moxie with Scarf, that yeah, could hurt a lot. So, he's pretty self explanatory. I didn't really dispute creep for anything. I felt no need. Honestly, not for no need, but because it was. I just kind of, no, no need, <laughs> no need. I didn't need the speed creep um, because I pretty much know that he, Scarf Crocodile is pretty much all, I don't know, actually. I feel kind of stupid for not speed creeping now, but hey, I already got these Mons gens, so fuck it. Um, we got the Keldeo here as well with the Life Orb Keldeo again. I got the HP Grass on it just to catch the, catch the, um, what is it, I'm gonna catch the Gastrodon, cause I know he's gonna be swapping in Gastrodon a lot on this thing. Scald of course for stab, and I get the 30% chance to burn, but you guys already know that it's me, so I'll probably get like a 3% a chance to burn, 3.9% chance to burn. Uh, again, Secret Sword, literally Keldeo will always run their thing. Icy Wind, slow down his Mons, I can cast Crocodile on that as well, if I double swap into it, take a hit, cause I pretty much walled this Crocodile every way outside of Earthquake, I can take a Stone Edge, I resist it, I can take Crunch even better. Um, so, yeah. Well, I actually swapped that around, I take Stone Edge even better, and I can take Crunch. 
So, yeah, I got some defense EVs as well, as well as some HP. That way that I can guarantee take even a plus two crunch, plus two stone edge, if he wants to lock him, if he actually somehow gets moxie and like gets stupid hacks. Because I don't know why, but I feel like some stupid hacks is gonna happen, so. Uh, there's that. Uh, speed creep definitely on this thing, but I think I speed creeped it to where I could just outspeed normal crocodile without the. If he's not scarfed, I outspeed normal crocodile. I also outspeed. Uh, what is it as well? There was something else, but I think it's his. Gengar's 110. No, it's Gardevoir. Yeah, because Gardevoir is based on 100 speed, so I outspeed that as well. Uh, if he's wants to run a timid max speed one or modest max speed so yeah we got this bulky shaman here it's bulky offensive i put a little bit of investment inside of hp to where i could take a plus uh plus one crunch honestly just that crocodile is a threat so i'm taking plus one move because i feel like some some soup is gonna happen like i feel like he will find a way to flinch me with stone edge without the king's rock so I have to do all this unnecessary BS stuff just because I feel like I'm getting hacked out, but um, yeah. I'm, I'm saying that because lately I've been getting hacked out in streams and I don't fuck with hacks anymore. Me and hacks, we're not on that relationship level. So I got Sweet Kiss because rip hacks, 75%. <laughs> so I probably will never land this, but hey, we're doing what we can. I have this just in case he wants to bring um, a Rotom Heat, catch on the Rotom Heat, you know? Because I feel like I don't want to even swap out when he brings in Rotom Heat and I'll just stay in. Or I'll catch it as he switches into it, and I can get up the Sweet Kiss. Um, I have Synthesis just to get some HP back if he does have a Life Orb user. I just hit this all the way up, get him a Leo Grind, and then Stab Moose Seed Flare, which can blow back something. It does one-shot Crocodile even with this investment. Um, and then Psychic for Lucario, Weezing, uh, stuff like that, as well as like Rotom Heat and stuff like that, just to kind of hit them on that neutral end. So that should be nice. And then we got this Yuxi here. Especially defensive Yuxi. Once I get up rocks, he doesn't really have anyone that can get rid of rocks. Like outside of his Flygon, he doesn't have anybody that can bring rocks. And what the hell is a Flygon? So I don't think he's going to bring Flygon. So once I get these rocks up, this should be here to stay. And I can cripple his Rotom Heat, so I won't have to worry about the thing. Uh, overheating this thing or like will o wisping this thing, you know, or like thunderbolting this thing I don't have to worry about that because I can just put on my rocks and I should be good I could thunder wave his Gengar and his Gardevoir Pretty much just those two because it's his fastest offensive month. He had a Megamon too. Well, it's his Gardevoir, yeah, so I could do that you turn for the initiative He wants to pull out into the Gastrodon or the Rotom Heat as I'm done putting on my rocks something if it doesn't need out with them It's like stab and then we got the Electros, which he's a fun mon. I put some defense investments as well as some HP investments just so that I can, again, take a plus one crunch, possibly take a plus two crunch. So I don't think you guys understand. I've said it multiple times that Crocodile is indeed a threat. So I have to watch out for that. But uh, with this spread, pretty much, I can blow back his team. He can drain for the Gastro, Flamethrower for Lucario, and it just one shots. Like it just one shots Lucario, just one shots Gastro. Um, knock off on Chansey if he wants to bring that. Forgot that he has that fat cancerous Pokemon. And then V Switch for Stab and Initiative. So, guys, that is the team. Um, Crocodile's a threat, and I think I've handled it the best way that I can. Um, why am I not bringing the Alma Mola? I want to have pack some more offensive power. Big reason, I don't know why people are going to comment that I'm why I'm not bringing Alma Mola if I'm really scared of that crook. Um, I have Keldia, which does resist most of his moves, as well as I want to go more along the offensive approach, because if I do bring Alamola, I would just get stalled down. Uh, like, if it ends up being one-on-one, -on -one, where it's my Alamola versus Gastrodon, he can stall me down with the uh, Toxic Recover, to whereas I have to, you know, waste a turn going for Wish, and it doesn't happen right away, to whereas his Recover happens right away. And he can also get me with Skull to where I can't touch him at all since Storm Drain. So, um, yeah. That he's got a Rotom Heat, which I know still Skull does good damage off on that or Waterfall. But at the end of the day, he's still part electric. He still gets Thunderbolt and I'm slow. He will outspeed me even if we're both defensive. Hell, even if I'm max speed and he's got no speed in his defensive, he still will outspeed me. So I just didn't feel the need to bring it inside of this match. As well as a Gengar with Thunderbolt, Mega Gardevoir. It's honestly setup fodder on Mega Gardevoir. And I know that he brought Sub Calm Mind, I think, against Kristen. So I really did not want to bring that. And of course, a lot of people will probably be saying that my Yuxi is also setup fodder on it. Uh, but U-Turn, I'm pretty sure it can just pop a sub. 
Uh, well, no, it can't with that minus an attack. <clears throat> minus an attack, but... Um, it is set up fodder as well, but if I can get a Thunder Wave off on it as he Calm Minds first before subbing or switching in onto it, expecting to get up the uh, free set up fodder off on that, I should be okay. So this is the squad, guys. Honestly, the only thing that scares me is the Trocodile. He has Lucario as well, but if he brings that, I have a Scarfed Exodra where you can just sack off the Yuxi 2 or the Shaman 2. And I, he could just blow him back. I'm guaranteed to take a hit from a life orb, Adam and Lucara from this thing as well with the defense investments. And Flamethrower is indeed a one-shot after rocks. I'm pretty sure it's one-shot before rocks too because I'm just modest or, well, quiet. And then I got an Entei, which my extreme speed is it's not better than his, but I could take a hit. Like, if he CCs Ashley, like, twice, then... His defense will be really low. It's where I could just knock him out with a CB Adamant E speed. And then the thing just outspeeds and he'd be forced to go for the extreme speed. And I can take one with the bulk investment. And yeah. So that's the squad, guys. Give the video a thumbs up. Hopefully, I end that winning streak tomorrow. You will see. Uh, you will see this Saturday that. What did I say tomorrow? You will see this Saturday that. I'm going to end that winning streak. I'm going to make y'all proud. Make y'all proud. So with that being said. I'm all goodbye.